Deciding when to begin drawing Social Security benefits can be challenging. If you start early, you have more years to collect benefits, but your checks will be smaller. If you start later, you have fewer years to collect benefits, but your checks will be larger. So when is the right age to begin drawing Social Security? Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mike Ballou. You can begin drawing Social Security benefits anytime between the ages of 62 and 70. Your benefit amount is set by your start age. What many people don't realize is that the changes are permanent. The age you start taking Social Security permanently sets your benefit amount. That's why it's so important to get this right. Hey, I don't make the rules, I just work here. Let's begin by saying how Social Security benefits are calculated. At full retirement age, which for most people is 67, you receive the full retirement benefit, which we'll abbreviate FRB. If you start one year early at age 66, 6.67% is deducted from your full retirement benefit. Same for 65 and 64. If you start at 63, another 5% is lopped off, and another 5% if you start at minimum age 62. If you delay Social Security one year beyond full retirement age, 8% is added to your full retirement benefit. Same goes for 69 and maximum age 70. Now let's put some real numbers to it. At full retirement age, a middle class individual might expect to receive a full retirement benefit of $27.26 per month. You can see how the full retirement benefit is reduced each year that you start early, all the way down to $2,000 per month if you start Social Security at age 62. By postponing the start of Social Security beyond full retirement age, your monthly benefits are significantly increased. Your account at ssa.gov will show your benefits at full retirement age, 62, and 70. Next, let's look at how cumulative benefits are affected by the age you start taking Social Security. Accumulating Social Security is a little like running a foot race. Meet Abby and her little brother, Billy. Billy has challenged Abby to a race. Since he is half her size, Abby gives him a head start. It doesn't take long for her to catch up. Social Security benefits work the same way. You can start early and get a little each month, or you can start later and get a lot each month. Eventually, total benefits received by starting later add up to more than those you get by starting earlier. That's the basic concept, but with something as important as deciding when to start taking Social Security benefits, you need specifics. Here's our middle class individual again showing monthly Social Security benefits beginning at 62, 67, and 70. This is total benefits received based on the lower rate beginning at age 62, and this is total benefits received based on the higher rate beginning at age 70, where the two lines intersect right around 80 is the break-even point. This chart shows total benefits received beginning every year from 62 to 70. They all have the same break-even point. That is not a coincidence. The break-even point is around average U.S. life expectancy, which is a little over 79 years of age. The way Social Security benefits are calculated, at average life expectancy, you will receive the same amount in total benefits regardless of whether you start at age 62, 70, or any point in between. It's what happens after average life expectancy that matters. If you start taking Social Security at age 62, you will continue on this trajectory. If you start Social Security at 70, you will continue on this path. What conclusion can we draw from this? If you think you will live beyond average life expectancy and you have enough retirement savings to make it to age 70, you should delay taking Social Security until you turn 70. Let me say that again because this is the whole point. If you think you will live beyond average life expectancy and you have enough savings to make it till 70, you should delay starting Social Security until you turn 70. If that doesn't describe your situation, then you should just begin taking Social Security whenever you retire. To illustrate the point, let's look at an example on Eggstack. Like the charts we just reviewed, you're 62 years old and you retired this year. Based on your family history, you believe you will live 10 years beyond average life expectancy, which is 89. You're single and we'll say you live in Idaho. You're retired, so you're no longer employed. The base case is taking Social Security now when you're 62 and your monthly benefit is $2,000. You own a home with no mortgage and pay $3,000 in annual property taxes and $1,500 for homeowner's insurance. You have one car and you spend $35,000 every 10 years for a new one. 
In addition to your home and auto costs, you have $4,000 in monthly living expenses. You have $800,000 in a 401k with an average return of 6%. Your tax filing status is single. As you can see, based on starting Social Security at age 62, by the time you reach life expectancy at age 89, you have burned through all of your $800,000 in savings except for this final amount of $189,000. Now, let's copy our base case, which keeps everything the same, and call the new case Start Social Security at age 70. We'll change the Social Security start age to 70 and enter our full retirement age benefit amount of 2726. Now you can see, based on starting Social Security at age 70, you have a lot more left over at life expectancy. If we go back and change the monthly living expense to $42.50, you end up with about as much left over at life expectancy as before in our base case. We can conclude that in this case, waiting until age 70 to begin taking Social Security gives you $250 more in spending money per month, or $3,000 per year every year for 27 years. If you want to study the numbers in more detail, you can do that on the drill down report. You can see where you start receiving Social Security at age 70. Your Social Security benefits and living expenses are indexed for inflation each year. Federal and state taxes are calculated based on your income. At the end of each year, the remaining amount in your 401k is calculated and carried over to the next year. So there you have it. We've solved the Social Security mystery. For most people, the answer is to wait as long as you can to begin taking Social Security. If you're interested in using Eggstack, there's a link in the description, or you can just Google it. I invite you to subscribe to learn more about retirement planning and personal finance. And always remember, a better tomorrow starts today, and dreams don't work unless you do. Thank you for joining us. See you again next time.